It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us again live from Swamico this morning. Hi, Neil. Hey, good morning. Well, we got our tortoise walk started and... You having trouble you keeping see, up with them? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, that's right. <laughs> Tootie's all the way down here. Yeah, Slow she's down, about Judy. halfway there. She took a little side trip. And now we're trying to get Al outside. And Al, see Al's a creature of habit. He wants to go through the other door. And we got Jess in here. She's trying to get him out. <laughs> and we're gonna How we're much gonna does get he weigh? Motivated. He's only about 460 <laughs> something pounds. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's got to work this winter him. on that marathon running. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to sign him up for the bell. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably still beat me. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get him motivated. But she's on her way, and where they're going to go down is to the children's zoo barn. And they'll be on display for uh, just part of the fall, and then we'll have the new display. And what's nice about the new display is the windows will go all the way down to the bottom. So especially for the little guys that come out and visit, You'll be able to get eye to eye with oh, these giant fantastic. tortoises. fantastic. Right. And then you're going to look inside and see that shell, what the inside of a shell looks like. So their home, but, for people who don't know, their new home is designed to, to look like a shell. Absolutely. You know, it's going to be one of a kind. It'll be the only one that's out there in the nation. Uh, we kind of come up with that design. It's always neat to say, you know, what does it look like inside? Because see where Jess's hands there, you know, that's the backbone. And the backbone on turtles and tortoises is fused to the top of their carapace, their shell that's uh, over top of them. So it's kind of neat to see what that looks like in the way the rib structure is. And we got a great artist uh, that's kind of putting this together. And if really, if you want to see that uh, as the exhibit is uh, being constructed, come on out and check it out in the fall. But you can see he's, <laughs> he's stubborn today. Neil, Neil we have two her. viewer no, questions. Can I can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. Oh, can we see Tootie first? Maybe? There's Tootie. Tootie knows where there to she go. Goes. See? Oh yeah. Yeah, she's like she's on a sprint right now. Now, is there another way to move these guys? Well, one of the things that we've done before is uh, we put like a little trolley, you know, that you can use. You know, it's, you know, like say if you're going to work underneath an engine, that you can lay underneath them sure. and get that up high enough so that you can go ahead and kind of scoot them around that way. Okay. You know, that's one other way that you can do, or we can uh, use a small rolling platform. But when they get his size, he's 464 mm -hmm. pounds. You know, they can get up to about 550 pounds. Really difficult to move these guys. Like I said, if they don't want to go, <laughs> and what, what Jess is going, just going to tap them on the back a little bit, you know, because he can feel like it's just like touching your uh, fingernails. And uh, a lot of times he'll get going. But see, what he knows is this is his, this is the old exhibit. He doesn't and he want comes to go into that, that small door. little room. No, you know, he comes out that door. This is, this is unusual for him to come out the side door. Oh, So okay. when he does that, it's a little bit different for him. And believe it or not, these guys are pretty intelligent. They kind of know what's going on. That's why when she came out, she headed right up to the children's zoo barn because she knows exactly where her winter quarters is. Okay. So that's kind of neat. You know, a lot of people don't realize, and they each have personalities as well. Okay, real quick, do they bite? Well, they can. Okay. And if they were, it'd be like a beak, almost like a like a large macaw or whatever, and they would they'd actually shear your finger right off. Oh, okay. Good. Stay away. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. All right, Neil. Thank you so much, <laughs> right. and we'll check back with you next hour. All right. Sounds good.